Welcome to the Better Together podcast, where we look at ways we can more effectively serve the Lord. And today we've got a special edition with Dr. Matt Pinson. He's the president of Welch College. And uh, Dr. Pinson, we wanted to get you on today because we got word about this uh, U.S. News and World Report ranking. First off, we noted that Welch was number 18 overall, uh, but also got rankings in best value in school top performers in social mobility, and I only saw a couple of schools listed for A-plus schools for B students, which I think many of us are especially happy about uh, what all that means, and uh, we just wanted to get you on to talk about that today. So welcome to the podcast, my friend. Thank you. It's so good to be with you, Dr. Moody. Well, tell me, what did you think uh, when you learned about being a A-plus school for B students from U.S. News and World Report? Well, I was very excited about it. Uh, we have only about six other schools uh, in the uh, regional colleges category that are in that. And basically what that means, and you know, this is the first time we've ever been in, uh, in that category, and uh, it's a special distinction, and it basically means that we're an A-plus school, uh, an excellent school, and yet we're not elitist and we provide opportunities for students who have B averages in high school uh, who really have the potential to do great in college if they're given the resources with which to do so. And so it's, it's a really great uh, and exciting uh, designation. So we're very excited about it. It really is. And I believe we received this um, a couple of times when I was at North Carolina Central University. And some folks may not understand, you know, really what it means. You have your admission standards, but uh, you're admitting students that some other universities or colleges might not. But really, they're coming in like this, and you have to leave up in this area to get this kind of designation. So, yeah, what is it? You know, uh, and that's one of the things that we pride ourselves on is taking students at different levels. And of course, we've got a lot of high achieving students. Mm -hmm. Dr. Milton Fields, our former provost, used to talk about us being a two humped camel. We have a lot of students who are in the C plus B range uh, of above average. And then we have a lot of students who are in the, you know, 3.75, 4.0 A average range. And we do very well with both kinds of students, but we really pride ourselves on taking students from that kind of above average good range in their academic achievement and really giving them the resources they need to achieve greater things academically uh, in, in our context of Christian community of faith and learning. I was noticing um, the upcoming, this will be the October edition of One Magazine, which is not out yet, but you wrote an article on Christian colleges, distinctive community, and the transformation of students. And really um, what you're talking about in the article is how professors basically are getting to know students, how they're investing their lives in these students and so forth. That's really how this happens, isn't it? Where they move from one particular spot in life to basically what the university or the U.S. News will report is saying, a value-added situation. That's right. Yeah, we have, uh, you know, we emphasize a lot around here this kind of slogan we have, a Christian community of faith and learning. When you come on campus, you know, you'll see our banners on the quad that say Christian community of faith and learning, and that emphasizes those three kind of, uh, uh, it's like a three-legged stool where, where you have Christianity and our biblical theological focus, and that, that we see the Holy Spirit is pervading every aspect of our campus life. But you also have community. You know, there are a lot of Christian colleges where you're still kind of, it's a Christian atmosphere and Christian teaching, but you're still kind of a number. You know, you're, you're a social security number. You got, you're in a class of 200 people, but we're a community. And that means we give personal attention, not only academically, but also spiritually and socially and culturally to our students. Mm -hmm. We're pouring ourselves into them. We're placing a great deal of emphasis on mentoring. And so that's very important. But it's also about faith and learning. It is about learning because we're a college and we don't need to apologize for that. And some people think, you know, going to a Christian college is like a year-long summer camp. Well, it's not. It's a school. It's a college. And you're you're getting a degree, you're getting a credential so that you can go out there and make a mark on the world and in your chosen profession. And yet it's a community. 
and it's mentoring, and it's about tight knit community. We have an eight to one faculty uh, student faculty ratio. So you know, there's only eight students for every one faculty member. So that's kind of an unusual tight knit community, but it's all formed around Christ and the Spirit, and what the you know what the Trinity is doing in our lives to reshape us according to God's kingdom. Mm-hmm. And so it's a wonderful it's a wonderful uh, Christian. Uh, way of conceiving of bringing people into an environment where you can really take them at their current level of academic academic preparedness and you move them to the next level, not only in their academic performance, but also in their leadership capability. So sometimes folks think a bigger college is better, but really what this data is showing us is no, not, not really necessarily at all. When you get down to education, smaller is better because of the individual attention, which you all are able to give to the students. And also, you've got something going on now that is different than many of our other universities, and that is you have students on campus. So uh, yes. right now we're in the middle of COVID-19, and you know uh, a lot of Mitchell's friends in North Carolina, they their schools made a go of it. And it, it uh, some are still it's working. Most it didn't, but you guys have been able to maintain during COVID-19 and continue on educating your students, haven't you? That's right. And uh, you can tell I'm excited about that because there are a lot of schools that weren't able to do that. We had a lot of schools that are, in fact, we've got schools in our own region in the NCCAA. We're a part of the National Christian College Athletic Association and our athletic director, Greg Fawbush, who's also on our select committee for COVID-19 is also on the select committee of the NCCAA. And what he's telling us is that we have schools in our region of the NCCAA that are small Christian colleges that are really having a tough time and uh, are having to go online and this sort of thing. And so we're just thankful that we have been able to come on campus and our students have done so well. I mean, you know, we're continuing to remind them we have six feet social distancing and face coverings. And, uh, you know, like we had to postpone rush night, but we're going to have rush night this Friday night. We're going to have it all set up and it's going to be outside and on the quad. We're going to have our videos with a big projector and all. And we're going to do it a little bit differently Mm -hmm. than normal because, you know, normally they get all together and they jump and scream and they hug and do bear hugs and all this. Well, obviously we're not going to be able to do it that way. So we've got some different things that we're doing. But let me tell you, our student council has been very mature and cooperative. I'm I'm amazed at how well our students have responded to this this COVID-19 and the unique uh, changes that it's brought to campus life. But it's just so exciting to be able to come, you know, and have class. We don't have a single class that's uh, that's not meeting face-to-face. That's part of the reason you know, that eight to one student faculty ratio is part of the reason for that. Uh, we are having more classes like, for example, in the auditorium and the gym. Uh, most of our classes don't have more than 20 students in them. Uh, some of our classes have, you know, get up into the 40s or 30s. Uh, but the few classes that do have that many students, they're meeting in large spaces that we normally don't have hold class in. So we're able to have every class face to face. That's great. And uh, it's been kind of different. Uh, you know, eating lunch is different. We're having longer lunch periods and everything's spaced out and we have the little stickers on the floor so that when they're waiting in line, you know, they're six feet apart and that sort of thing. But you thank God we don't have anybody right now who is uh, tested positive mm-hmm. for COVID. We have a few students in quarantine, but they, you know, it's just because of symptoms or because they, uh, were exposed, but uh, they're being tested and they haven't tested positive yet. And then there are, I think there are a couple of students that are commuters who are quarantining at home. Mm-hmm. So we're really, uh, you know, blessed and thankful that we haven't, you know, kind of had an outbreak like a lot of the schools have. Mm-hmm. Well, I was on campus a couple of weeks ago for Ms. Tolbert's class, and I was very impressed at the good job the students were doing. And uh, there was someone having to quarantine and it's pretty neat that uh, she was able to see us. You know, she was watching the class in her room safely uh, while the other folks were um, social distance and they did a, a great job with it. So it's just a, a good yeah. thing. Well, we just wanted to 
get you on today and say how proud we are about this designation, A plus schools yeah. for B students. And then, you yeah. know, the other information that's there with US News World Report. And then we encourage our folks, they need to keep praying for Welch College, the financial needs and that folks are able to stay healthy and, um, and pray that these students will continue yeah. to be able to grow and prosper at this time. Well, I appreciate you, you know, giving me the opportunity to talk about this. And, and I do want to tell your listeners, you know, continue to, continue to support us. Our enrollment's down, obviously, as most schools' enrollments are down. So that means we're struggling financially, and we need your support now more than ever. And we've got a COVID-19 student relief fund that's uh, going to help a lot of our students. We've had to give a whole lot of extra scholarships and financial aid because so many of our students have been challenged and their you know, family economic situations have been much more impaired because of COVID-19. And so we're having to give a lot more financial aid and that COVID-19 fund is really helping with that. But it is a good time and it's an exciting time to be at Welch College. We, you know, even though we have uh, gone down in enrollment this fall, Last fall, we had the biggest enrollment we'd had in 36 years. And I think once we get out of this COVID-19, we're going to take back off. And, you know, the U.S. News and World Report, it just shows people that, hey, we are, you know, our spiritual and Christian worldview and free will Baptist core, that's where we are. And preparing ministers and the Great Commission, that's where we are. But you can have that and be recognized by the world as, you know, having good metrics and good numbers and doing a good job educating these students. You know, 10 years ago, we were number 54. Mm. And 15 years ago, we weren't even ranked at all. Mm. And so we were 54 in our region and we've got, gotten to 18. And, you know, it's, it, it is exciting to, to, to see the progress that God is blessing us with. And we're building on such a great foundation of those who have laid just such a wonderful foundation for Christian higher education in the Free Will Baptist context. And, and we appreciate y'all for uh, your support and uh, all you're doing to help Wells College. Well, we're glad to do it. Thank you for the good work, President Pinson. God Thank be with you me. and bless you. And hey, we'll continue to pray and look for some great things from Welch College. Thank you, Dr. Moody. Thanks so much for having me on.